So which question type should we do next? 10 to 13, exactly. Very good. Now let's read questions 10 to 13, please. Complete the sentences below. Choose no more than two words from the passage for each answer. Clear? No more than two means maximum two, minimum one. OK. Question number 10. Now look here. From the question, you will find clue word. Who was saying clue word? 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 So you need to, from the question, question will give you a clue. It's not possible that question doesn't give you the clue. There are three types of clues. Clue number one, simple and obvious word. For example, America. Now, America cannot be replaced, right? So that is clue number one. Clue number two, synonym. They will give you a word in the passage, and you have to find the synonym of that word. Clue number three is paraphrasing. Paraphrasing is, for example, uh, if, if, it, if I say it's tissue paper, so for tissue paper, I say there is a small sort of paper which is used to clean the hands. You mean tissue paper? See that? This is called paraphrasing. Paraphrasing means they just talk about that thing using different words. And one is synonym. Synonym is the exact word. For example, napkin tissue paper. Right? And paraphrasing is a small piece of paper which is used to clean the hands or wipe the things. That is called tissue paper. So this is what we call paraphrasing. So either you are going to find exact synonym or you are going to find exact word as it is. The na proper nouns are easy to find, OK? Or it is going to be rewording. And remember, without finding the clue word, don't jump into the passage. You will waste your time, waste your energy, and then you will become more frustrated. When you don't find the answer, you become frustrated, right? OK, now let's see. Long before the invention of radar, now invention and radar, DASH has resulted in a sophisticated radar-like system in bats. Now the clue word is radar, long before the invention of radar. OK? Excellent. Wow, you guys are amazing. Good job. Please come to paragraph E. Now, long before the invention of radar, that's what they say. Yeah. Dash had resulted in sophisticated radar-like system in bats. I'm reading it from first line. Please follow me. Sonar and radar pioneers didn't know it then. But all the world now knows that bats or rather natural selection working on bats had perfected the system 10 of millions of years earlier. That's it. Answer is here. OK, just see. Answer is in the first two lines. Read the question again. See what can be the answer and all that. They say long before the invention of radar, Dash had resulted in, absolutely, Dash had resulted in sophisticated radar-like system in bats. So, natural selection, very good. I'm reading it again. Sonar and radar pioneers didn't know it then, but all the world now knows that bats, or rather natural selection, Working on bats, natural selection. Now, what is natural selection? Working on bats had perfected the system tens of millions of years. So long before the invention of radar, natural selection had resulted in a sophisticated radar-like system in bats. OK? That's right. Natural selection means God gifted them with this system. So the answer is natural selection. Underline this line right there, question number 10. And do it later on. Read it again and you'll find it. OK, now we've got question number 11, please. And by the way, questions and answers are in order. And just see how easy it is if you know all the answers are in paragraph E. Now, have you noticed one thing? How many questions we did before? Six to nine, four questions. And now how many questions? Four. So four and four, 
eight questions and answers are in two paragraphs, right? You don't need to read all the passage, okay? Now, let's go on. Question number 11, please. Radar is an inaccurate term when referring to bats because radar is inaccurate. If we use the word radar for bats, it's wrong. Why? Reason. Because dash are not used. Now look here. Answer is plural. Why? Dash R. R is a plural word, right? So dash are not used in their navigation system. Now look here. Something which is not used in bats navigation system. That will be the answer. Now please go back. Dash are not used. Paragraph E. Very good. Which line? Third line? Fifth line. Everyone, please come to fifth line. I'm reading it from here. It is technically incorrect to talk about bad radar since they do not, not is another clue word, since they do not use radio waves. Now, what's the question? The question is... Radar is inaccurate term when referring to bats because dash are not used in there. There means bats. So the answer is radio waves. And I told you plural answer. So look for something plural. This is also a good clue. Answer must be plural. Radio waves are not used in their navigation system. Okay. Now, next question number 12. Radar and sonar are based on similar. Look here. Now, radar and sonar, th these are two different technologies. They are based on something common. Please go back. Similar. Look for the word similar. Very good. Wow. That's awesome. Same paragraph E and uh, line number five. Yeah. But the underlying. Everyone found it? Please read it with me. But... The underlying mathematical theories of radar and sonar, right? In the question, they use the word uh, similar. Okay, so similar, and now they say, but the underlying mathematical theories of radar and sonar are very similar. What is similar? Underlying mathematical theories. What's the word count for answers? Two words. Now, if we write underlying mathematical theories, right answer will be wrong. So what will we write? Mathematical theory. Excellent. All good? Very nice. They are also wow's table. And help me karein. Yeah. These things are new. Right? Okay, question number 13, and this is the last question. The word echolocation, please now come to this. See that echolocation is your clue word and you found it. Let's read the question first. Achha, excited nahi question pad ke answer karna hai, okay? Now listen, the word, question number 13. The word echolocation was first used by someone working as a profession of that person. Working as a echolocation, wow. See, working as a means profession. Working as a teacher, working as an engineer. So the last three lines. The American zoologist Donald Griffin, who was largely responsible for the discovery of sonar in bats. American zoologist. So working as a... Huh? Zoologist. And then you'll find it. Okay, guys, now 13. So we, we are done with that as well, right? Thank you.